Why the U.S. can't send humans to Mars? Business Insider Getting humans to Mars has been on the minds of leading scientists and engineers since the 50s but, for one reason or another, no one can manage it. Below are your comments. I've been a big fan of space exploration since I was a kid. But I've come to realize it makes far more sense to continue sending robots, not living creatures to Mars. They still haven't figured out how to deal with the bone density loss. The astronauts experience a 1 to 2% bone permanent density loss for every month in the weightlessness. SS of space. Just think what a trip to Mars would cause. The mission to the moon in the 60s and 70s spawned life-saving technologies, research tools that adva. Ants new life-saving procedures, technologies that are used fuel efficiency in autos, cars, etc. Dot, dot. Created new employment opportunities for hundreds of millions of Americans over 50 years, just to. Dot, dot. Still seeing the pie in the sky after all these years. Let's spend the money to fix up Earth where we already have everything we require. We do have the tech to send people to Mars. But building a mission that could keep them alive and well on the journey, and alive and well on Mars, s for even one day, and returned alive and well, is a huge logistical problem. Best to set it all up with robotics first, then transport the people, there. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.